the Financial Modeling Podcast presents The Road to London. In this season, we delve into the tools and technologies that make modeling easier and better than ever before. Then join us as we head to London for the Global Excel Summit, where the winners of the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards will be announced. Thanks to our sponsor, Girdlines. Welcome to Modeling in 2020 with your host, Matthew Bernath. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3. Can you believe it? We've made it to Season 3, and this is Episode 1 of Season 3. And I'm your host, Matthew Bernath. Season 3 will be combining two of my passions, financial modeling and technology. In Season 3, we'll be looking at the technology that makes financial modelers' lives easier, from creating financial models to managing the data in financial models, And of course, error checking these financial models and ensuring that they can really minimize any errors that the financial models may have and try to mitigate the risks that financial models naturally bring with them. During the podcast, we'll look at how to bring in the best forecasts and estimates. What is the best way to create a financial model from scratch or from a template? And we'll look at the myriad of the tools available out there to check financial models, whether it's checking for formula errors or for hard-coded formulas, or if it's just checking for logical errors, or even perhaps applying a formula map to help us better understand these vast Excel workbooks. In the Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3, we'll also be taking a look at the Global Excel Summit happening in London in April of this year. The Global Excel Summit will be the first annual gathering of Excel's global community, will be a two-day event dedicated to unveiling the world beyond the spreadsheet. And some of the speakers at the event will include some names you might be familiar with if you've been listening to the podcast season one and season two. And those names include Daniel Stein-Fairhest, who was one of my very first financial modeling podcast guests, Chandu, and of course, Oz Dusselel, who we last saw in the finale of season two, talking about Excel, VBA, and everything in between. Stay tuned to the Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3 to find out how you can win a ticket to the Global Excel Summit happening in London. Then later on in Season 3, I'll be traveling to London to attend the Global Excel Summit. I'll be interviewing the various speakers and hosting the Financial Modeling Podcast live from the Global Excel Summit. And I'll be joined there by my good friend and podcast sponsor for Season 3, Kenny Whitelaw-Jones from Gridlines. Gridlines will be sponsoring season three of the Financial Modeling Podcast, and Gridlines build models to support corporate finance and project finance deals around the world. They also look beyond the spreadsheets to help companies see the real shape and dynamics of the deal, and that's something that I've spoken about passionately before, and I've also had Kenny as a guest on my podcast back in season one to talk about the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards. Kenny, who's the lead trading partner at Gridlines, has taught thousands of modelers and analysts over the past 12 years, and he's really trusted by global banks and project developers and governments to transform the effectiveness of their modeling teams. Kenny, as I said, is a a good friend of mine. Gridlines have come on board as a sponsor for season three of the Financial Modeling Podcast, and they'll also be providing tips and tricks during the podcast, so stay tuned for those. Kenny and I will also be having quite a few chats in London and, of course, broadcasting some of those chats live as part of the Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3. I mentioned that the last time I spoke to Kenny on the podcast was to interview him about the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards and what the awards were all about. Well, the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards will actually be announced. The winners will be announced at the Global Excel Summit. So we'll be hosting a live podcast from the very special award presentations and the award givings. And of course, we will be interviewing all of the award winners as well. So stay tuned for that later in the season. So as I said, season three of the Financial Modeling Podcast will really be looking at the technology to make financial modeling easier, whether that's modeling and deal structuring, to optimization, to error checking, to having a look at automated inputs, even visualizing outputs, obviously very key. What's the purpose of our financial model? It's often to make a decision. And how do we make a decision? Financial models need to be decision useful. And we find that financial models are really the most effective when they have some form of visual output. Humans are very visual animals. We we appreciate these visual outputs. Financial models are very numeric. 
contain lots of numbers and very difficult to see trends and what's going on very quickly. Whereas some really great interactive dashboards always help. So you're going to have a look at some of the technology behind that as well. Of course, dashboards need to be decision useful and enable the end model users to really be able to make a decision from the financial model. We're even going to be having a look at technologies such as machine learning and AI and how those are transforming the world of financial modeling. Of course, around the world, people are using different tools from Excel to Python and SAS for financial modeling, using packages such as Pandas and NumPy for their financial modeling tools. And previously on the podcast, we had Daniel Page, a quant and head of quants at a fund here in South Africa. And we spoke to him about some of these tools and how they can be used for financial modeling. So when we are talking about financial modeling, we're not limiting ourselves to the world of Excel, although most financial models are still built in Excel, especially when we talk about financial models for deals, M&A deals, and of course, project finance. Some of the guests for season three will be Igor, who created Ari Excel, one of my favorite Excel tools. I've written a blog post about it on financialmodelingpodcast.com. And I find it exceptionally useful. And of course, we're going to be interviewing Kenny about the Gridlines and the Innovation Awards. We're also going to be interviewing the founders of the Global Excel Summit to see what inspired them to create this event, why they're hosting it in London, and what delegates can expect from the Global Excel Summit. We're going to be doing a deep dive into the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards. Financial Modeling Innovation Awards really looks at innovation in financial modeling. Every major project and deal is underpinned by a financial model. And these models give insight and help to drive deal value. As the world changes, so the models keep changing to keep up. And modelers have to develop new approaches and new solutions. And many of the solutions we're going to be having a look at in the Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3. The Financial Modeling Innovation Awards were created to recognize new ideas and innovators in the dynamic field of financial modeling. The judges of the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards are some familiar names as well. They include Natalie Bayfield, who started Bayfield Training. And we've had previously on the podcast, Andri Rabanatanati talking to us about Bayfield Financial Modeling Training. Ian Bennett, who's a partner of Deals Modeling at PwC Australia. Danielle Stein fairhurst who runs Plum Solutions and, of course, was one of the very first guests of the Financial Modeling Podcast. Fiona Foster, who's a deals manager at PwC in the USA. Ian Morrow, who's a partner and the chief technology officer at Gridlines. And Lance Rubin, founder and CEO of Model Citizen and the very first guest of the Financial Modeling Podcast and last heard in the season two finale. So Lance, a good friend of the Financial Modeling Podcast and a judge of the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards. Of course, during season three of the Financial Modeling Podcast, you can stay in contact with me via Instagram. My username is Matthew Bernath, and I will be posting tips and tricks on Instagram and, of course, documenting my entire visit to London and the Global Excel Summit. Stay tuned for my LinkedIn articles and tutorials on everything from what is a debt service reserve account to how to perform debt sculpting to what is project finance. You can also check out my website, financialmodelingpodcast.com to stay up to date with all the latest podcasts and tutorials, downloads, and videos. Of course, make sure that you subscribe to the Financial Modeling Podcast on whatever platform you enjoy listening to, whether that's Spotify, Pocket Casts, or iTunes, so that you don't miss an episode. And please, if you enjoy the podcast, rate us on iTunes. We're currently rated five stars on iTunes and very proud of our rating. During the break between season two and season three, a lot of people sent me emails asking what happened to financial modeling short stuff. They were enjoying financial modeling short hold stuff, the five minute podcasts where I just gave a, a quick tip and trick and stay tuned for more of those during season three. There'll definitely be F1 or two financial modeling podcast short stuff episodes sprinkled in between the season three regular episodes. So stay tuned for the next episode of Financial Modeling Podcast Season 3. We will be interviewing Kenny White or Jones about the Financial Modeling Innovation Awards, about what we plan to do at the Global Excel Summit, and what you can expect to hear more from is in Season 3 of the Financial Modeling Podcast. Stay tuned and welcome back to the Financial Modeling Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Berner, excited to be kicking off another season, and I'll see you again in the next episode. Yeah.